What up, boys? Welcome back to some more Total War Attila, the 1212 AD medieval mod. Um, last time around, well, we've done a lot of things. I can say that for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, we... We're, we're hanging in there. We lost an army, but that was a 60-man army, so it's not a big deal. Um, we're kind of surrounded by enemies at the moment, so it's a little tough, but at the same time, we do have a really powerful army. What is this? France? No, don't declare war on me, France. That's super bad. Oh, that's wicked bad. Okay, France is huge. That That is actually a problem. All of these little wars, I have not been scared of, but going up against France is scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That one's rough. That's a tough, tough pill to swallow, and we're at war with a lot of people. Um, oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Brunswick, oh no. <laughs> not good. Not good. Okay, war declared. Peace negotiated, peace negotiated, that's not with us, so I don't care. Oh, lord. Rank gained, cool. Alright, this guy gained a rank, that's nice. Um, integrity and public order. Yes. Alright, now... Do we head north? I'm gonna send these guys to Wittenberg. And then... Man... I mean, this this has decent defenders and stuff already. But mayhaps I should raise forces here. Um, should I? I can raise an eight-year-old <laughs> and a three-year-old? Oh, that's influence. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, never mind. Um, huh. Let's, first of all, let's go ahead and upgrade these guys. That's that's actually kind of a nice feature. Um, Alright, you know what? We're going after these guys. Let's stomp them out really quick. Alrighty then, and auto-resolve that. Be aggressive. Oh, right in the gut. Oh, right in the gut right there. Yeah. Easy kill. Okay, um, well, we'll get unit replacement. One of our armies almost died there, which is really depressing. Um, and then head back to Munich. Okay, so Dijon is right there. That's the nearest French province, so they can come right up against us. Alright, maybe we gotta enter diplomacy here. And try and get Milan to... Alright, we're no longer at war with Milan. I'm sure they will come back. I'm gonna try and get basically peace treaties with everyone, Come then. but we haven't defeated many of these guys in battle in a minute, so that's not happening. Okay, all right, it's not as bad as I thought, actually. Okay, Serbia, I don't really care about. France, they have ten different areas. That's that's a lot. That is quite a number. Um, urgh, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna raise. Yeah, I'm gonna raise a force here. Um, oh, this guy's age 25. That's actually our king, isn't it? I think so. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it. Gonna toss him right in there. Oh, he's actually got upgrades. Okay, cool. And then we'll give him a uh, missile attack rate, sure. That sounds good. Can we hire mercenaries? No, we cannot. Okay, but we will attempt, I suppose, to hire a few of those guys. And then maybe... Maybe we send these fellas out. Sacrificially. And they have to attack them next turn, and that gives us more time to prepare. That's the play, let's see what happens as we end turn. Okay, they took the bait, and are deploying against our guys here. 
And we're actually going to fight this, and we're just going to corner camp and try and eliminate a large portion of their force. Uh, this is still basically a freaking sacrificial army right here. Um, essentially just trying to <laughs> save our capital a little bit longer. Okay, here's our positioning right here. Fast forward, um, basically just corner camping this entire area um, and hoping and praying that this <laughs> works out for us. We're going to scooch these guys forward a little bit and then brace them a little closer to the other lines. Uh, so they're maximized. Archers are going to fire away. General's just going to basically chill here and uh, attempt to give the good vibes. The good vibrations to the boys. Um, <laughs> yep, okay. I'm just gonna let this run because we're outnumbered uh, about two to one, a little bit over that, and it's probably gonna be an L. So, have at it, boys. Alright, boys, here they come. Uh, there's not like a ton we can do for them. For our boys, I mean. Um, but we certainly will brace them when the time comes. They have a lot of cavalry. Uh, which is kind of interesting. All right, go ahead and brace for impact. That hit most of our units, but not all of them. Great. Um, and here we go. They are coming in here. Luckily, we do have armor and uh, melee attack upgrades on these guys. A couple of them also have additional um, abilities and stuff like that, which is good. Um, I might, might swing in with our general over this way. Just for a split second to try and assist. Add a little bit more weight to that part of the line. Alright, and they're peeling off, so we're going to peel our general off too. Yeah, ooh, these guys got butchered hard. God dang, alright, get in on them. Yeah, we'll enter in once more. For just a hot second here. Alright, I mean the boys are holding decently. We've both lost about 100 men, so it's not like we're winning by a, a crazy amount or anything along those lines. It's pretty standard right now. The battle is no longer in our favor. Bro, when was it ever in our favor? When was it ever in our favor? I think I will try and retreat our general out at a certain point in time. I mean, especially once we, like, are really losing. We'll, we'll try and get him some kills, but, like, yeah, once he really losing, losing, we'll try and get him out of here. I think we better swing him over this way for a spell. Because these guys are doing some serious damage to our boys over here. Which ain't too good. Yeah, so get in there. Good. Okay, they're counter-charging, too. Oh uh, yeah, this is this is rough. I need our brace ability back soon, but I don't think I'm gonna get it very quickly here. Yikes! All right, we've almost got it. We've almost got it. Hold on. All right, now uh, brace here. Okay, they broke. All right, we're actually gonna try and retreat our general back. Gonna try and withdraw him. Good, he got out. Nice. That's good. I mean, it's tough, but hey, at least we're going to get some kills here. And that'll be good. Yeah. yeah. Just try and withdraw, everyone. Just try and withdraw. Yeah. Get out of there, boys. It's not worth it. There we go. Decisive defeat. Um, I mean, that's what we expected. But they did take 354 losses, which is actually fairly decent uh, for a battle like that. And, and it distracted them. So we did exactly what we were going to do. And that's... That's lovely. We like that a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, our army does still remain. Okay. Are they gonna hit us? Oh my god, they are. Except this time we have the garrison too. Okay, this is not terrible. Okay, so we're basically doing the exact same thing. Um, except this time we'll have our reinforcements come in at some point, hopefully. <laughs> there they are. They're coming in. Nice. That's very good. Alright, awesome. I want you guys all heading this way. Very, very quick. Very fast. Come on. I might actually be able to do it this time since we got some weight to us. I love that. Um, the enemy's way over there. So, yeah, this is actually doable this time, which will be nice. So, um, yeah, I'll get us set up. Okay, they do approach us. Oh, boy. 
and we are going to hit the Nas on this once they get too close. Uh, our archers are firing. That's pretty nice. They got some archer cav here. Didn't even realize they had that last time. They're going for a general unit. Uh, he's spread. He might be okay. Eh, he might be okay. Could back him up, but... I want to give him and the men, like, the boost of him being close. You know? Mm. Angle these guys like this. Then get these guys more like this. And then you should be firing already, I feel like. No, no, just, just fire at them. Just fire at them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if they want to play the firing game, that's totally fine by me. Uh, we got plenty of archers and stuff, so... Not too worried about it. Yeah, move them like that. Okay. Yeah, let's let them do their firing game, because that's totally fine. We'll be okay. Alright, our general is getting hammered a little bit, so I'm going to back him off a good bit there. Alright. Oh, they are eating away our infantry a good bit here. That's not great. Mm. Yeah, th these guys are getting butchered. Ugh! Okay, maybe the <laughs> archer game was not in our favor, as we initially thought. Um, yeah, this is not going fantastically. The men are broken and running for their lives. <sighs> That's not good. I mean, I don't want to charge them or anything like that. Oh, are they going to come? They're going to come. <laughs> All right. That's good. We need to get over here and brace these guys. Oh, jeez. We're having major gaps coming in our lines here. This is not good. This is very not good. Ugh! Yeah, I guess get the general in there somewhat. And then get these guys over here too. Right, we will peel the general off when time comes. Which will be pretty soon, I think. Alright, um... Yeah, uh... We'll leave him for now. Now these guys are going to charge. Brace for impact. The general is still chilling, doing actually a pretty good job getting some kills, so I'm going to leave him there for now. Alright. That's display. not good. You guys need to target their general. I think that is the play. Jace. Alright, we'll bring our other general in here too. Because I think that's the play. And then, you know what? We're going to bring these guys around the side. Get a gnarly little flank going here. I think that is a good idea. Oh, these guys are back. Alright, bring this general back here. I don't want him dying. Ooh. Nope, stop breaking. Stop breaking. Please, please, please. Alright. Sideswipe them. Go ahead and buff. Okay, wait. Yeah, just go into melee mode. We'll trap these horsemen here. We're gonna get Flanked here, though. That's not great. No, sir. This is pretty bad. <sighs> um. All right, send these horsemen in. Man, I could really use another rally right now. Eleven seconds. Stop breaking. No, stop breaking. Sometimes I forget this is not our elite army. You know, this is kind of the garbage hour army. Okay, 
Nice job. Ingage. Alright, finish those guys off as quickly as you possibly can. Ugh. This is rough. Yeah, bro, no duh. There is no retreating from this, by the way. Alright, one of our generals just died. Yeah, it's Jover. Let's just fast forward here, and it's gone. Decisive defeat. Yikes. <sighs> At least we killed more of them. Um, we might have finished off some of their units. It'll basically make them a little bit more weak for if they want to siege us at some point here, but still was at the cost of a army or two. Hmm. Not good. Did our other general die? No, he's still alive. That's good. That's good. Okay, just one general died. All right. And those guys are probably pretty butchered, which is good. <laughs> hey, man, we got we got that going for us. That's nice. Um, all right, killed in battle. Oh, natural causes. So the other guy just died too? Elopement? Oh, God. Um, we cannot afford to have worse influence, so we got to go with that. Balance of power is bad. I know, dude. It's awful. Um... Okay, so these guys are pretty hurt, I will say. Um, yeah, we're going to want to get definitely a few more military soldiers over here. Yeah, we, we just need it. Um, down this way at Munich. We're going to chill with those guys for a turn. Uh, provincial governor. Oh, yeah. Um, there you go. At least we're getting more income now that more people have died. And we can do an edict at Wittenberg. Let's do wealth growth. That'll be good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> they are going to make a pivot towards Brunswick. I doubt they have enough to take it, though, now. We'll be fine. Uh, edict issued. Nice. Construction complete. That's good. And we recruit some units. Beautiful. Okay. That's pretty good. Um... I'm thinking about heading down here, uh, trying to take out either Verona or Venice. Oh god, okay, well, that might not happen. Um, but just try and at least defeat these guys in battle once they they commit to peace with us. That would be nice. Um, See, still want to see can we hire mercenaries no why can we never hire mercenaries okay there must be something we're doing that makes it so we're like not able to do that because usually there is like a reason for that okay the republic of venice does want to tussle um they do outnumber us a very good bit also france i just learned is is coming at us okay so we are going to tussle with these guys okay all right all right all right at the very least least boys this is our good army which is nice um yeah, I hate to use the same strategy every single god dang time, but we have to. <laughs> okay, we just have to. Um, it is basically essential for us <laughs> if we wish to succeed in any form. Um, so that is what we shall do. Okay, pike wall. Pike wall, brace for impact. Okay, and you guys are going to need to be supported by swordsmen for sure. Yippers. At least pretty much all of our units here are going to be semi-elite units. Which is very nice. Okay. Will not be like the other battle. Okay. Good stuff. Loose in the ranks. And start the battle. Okay, and we have our flanking horses, which is great. Okay, here we go. They're almost here. And what we're going to do is send out a couple, maybe three of our cavalry units right now. 
just a little bit out of time. Yeah, sprint, boys. Sprint! But why are they not going fast? <laughs> Go fast! Charge them! See, this is nice, because with the cavalry, we prevent them... from hitting us too hard uh, with their archers, which is great. And we have extremely elite cavalry, which is great, yeah. Pretty much all of our boys in this fight have multiple chevrons, which is very nice. All right, we did get in a weird fight here, though. I must say, that, that ain't the best. We will be on standby with our next units. All right, yeah, get into them. Uh, let's get another cavalry unit up here. Another two, maybe. Then we can fuss with these guys a bit more. All right, yeah, you guys need to back out. Y'all need to back out. We've also got these enemies coming up from the rear that we gotta be careful of. Okay, they are engaging us with their general. Interesting. Let's do a quick charge on him with our general. Because that's worth. <laughs> that is most definitely worth. Alright. Okay. Alright, they're adding more on to the pile. We're gonna peel our boy off. Peeling him off. Okay. That is good. And then I do want to sideswipe with one of these guys while the rest go after those archers. Yep, keep going after them archers. That's that good stuff. Okay. That's very nice. Very epic. Alright, we're doing okay here. So those guys are definitely not thriving. We are doing decently well. Okay. Alright, now go after these guys, please. Yeah, and finish them for sure. Bring in our other two cavalry units, because I think we just kind of need them, you know? Alright, and go after those archers. We don't want the archers recouping and firing into our calves' backs, because that would suck. I'm going to do a quick charge with our general one more time. Try and kind of stop him. Okay. Those guys are coming up. Those guys are dead. Nice. Yeah, finish off these archers, please. Nice. Oh, here. Go after that cavalry. I want them gone. Alright, once those archers break, we can move those guys, which will be good. Um, and honestly, I'm going to charge into the back of those guys. Alright, nice. Those guys are done done. Go after them. Their reinforcements are arriving here pretty soon. It's gonna be a danger zone type deal. Alright, finish them and then we'll charge the backs of them. Okay. Give me a quick war cry! Very nice. I much prefer brace, but we take what we can get. Alright, go into the backs of them. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a huge charge when it comes through. Look for them. Come on, just finish them off. Okay, yeah, we're messing with them pretty good here. Bring our general back now. Bring it back now, y'all. Okay, here we go. Big collision! That's what I'm talking about. Yes! Okay, that is a slugfest that I don't love, but it's just got to happen. Just gotta happen. Yo, our melee infantry got real wacky over here, didn't it? Real, real whack. Okay, that's fine. We'll just readjust them. Just readjust them real quick, there. Okay. Cavalry is still doing all right. Their army is still walking in because they're already very tired. Um, so it honestly kind of makes sense why they're doing that. Walking their steeds on in there. Alright, this is good. The first army is almost completely kaputs. 
almost completely gone. That is fantastic. And we do want to split up our cavalry to really chase them down so they don't come back with the second army. You know, uh, the only cavalry unit that really took a lot of losses was the Saxon Ritter. The rest are still fresh, basically. Still essentially fresh. 226 kills, 181, 384, 167, and 216. Absolutely nutty. Absolutely nutty. Holy cow. We are crushing them. This is going to be huge for us. All right. We still got a whole other army, though, to deal with. Our cavalry is also no longer a surprise. We're going to bring them back, though. You gotta bring them back. Oh, go after them. That's like a very random lone archer unit. Alright, how tired are these guys? They're still pretty fresh. A couple are winded. That makes sense, though. Alright, by the way, I really love the coloring of these armies. The Swiss. They got it right, man. The, the Swiss have a, a great color scheme. A fan freaking tastic color scheme. I'm not going to tango with that general unit right now. If they chase us, that's great, but other than that... Oh, he war cried us. That's funny. Yeah, we just want to take out their archers first, basically. Basically. All right, so we've lost, like, 100 men, and they've lost 2,500. That's a bit of a discrepancy. A little bit of a discrep. I'm going to send a couple of these guys this way, too. I'm trying to eliminate as many of their archers as we possibly can. You know? Good. They'll go down. These guys will go down, too. Alright, this ain't bad. And then our army's still stacked up here. Looking fresh. Looking fresh, looking clean. Our general could use some more kills to rank up, but I'm not, like, too worried about that right now. Alright, finish them. Then we shall pivot and go this way. We need them to be gone, though. We can't have them just breaking. We need them gone, gone. There we go. These guys are gone, gone. Now you can pivot this way. Okay, those guys are gone, gone. Send you guys after the general. All right. Yep. Keep distributing. And their infantry is kind of programmed to basically go after our infantry. That's a little bit how it works. Not fully, but like a little bit. Um, cause their infantry will go after us if we like get like too, too close, but they'll kind of just let their cavalry do the thing, um, for the most part, which is totally fine by me. Um, their infantry just wants to go match up to our infantry cause that's where they'll be effective for the most part. Um, cause chasing cavalry is obviously not the best use of time. All right, we are going to take some losses here. Right, you guys need to get out of here. But there comes our charge. That's going to help a lot with that general unit. But general units are always kind of rough to deal with. Um, yeah. It's not great. Okay. But I think that many units should be fine. And I'm going to try and peel these guys off before they take additional losses. Try and get them out of there. Go. And then the rest of y'all keep piling it on for these guys. Nice. Alright, and we're working on their archers up here too. And then our guys here are going to be attacked. But we'll see how that goes for them. These weaker units, you can go after uh, their archers there. I think that'll be fine. Yes, it is not bad. Okay, yeah, this is not bad at all. Might do a quick charge downhill here. Just because... Well, that's glitchy. They're, like, in the ground. Uh, I want our general unit to get some more kills. Don't want them to die, obviously, but I don't think that'll happen, really. Not sure if that could happen at this juncture uh, don't don't stack another unit on top of these guys they'll kill this general in due time 
it will just take a little bit of time. All right, our general's in there. He's getting a few more kills. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want from him, because we want him ranked up. All right, and then let's go ahead and charge these guys down. Try and get them a little bit more involved. Have our archers done anything? Oh yeah, they've got like all like 40, 50 kills. That's not too bad. No, sir, that is not too bad at all. We're going in the flanks of these guys here, too. Once again, just trying to get some easy collapse in before this battle ends. Get more of our units some more kills, too, so they rank up as well, or at the very least maintain their ranks. We can probably fast forward here. Yep, the general's finally getting some action, which is great. Yep. Keep it up, boys. We're gonna keep fighting a little bit so we can, at the very least, eliminate more of these guys. So they don't really have much of an army left. And I think that's that's probably good. Yeah, the general got 270 kills. Decisive victory. All right, we lost 214 men. They lost 4,402. Oh my God. That was beautiful. We are going to take unit replenishment. All right, so maybe Venice will stop being at war with us after that. Be kind of nice. <laughs> uh, that's what we need. We need less enemies at the moment. Usually if you curb stomp them like that, then they're a little less inclined to try and kill you. So we'll see. Oh, Savoy is now heading towards Strausland. Oh, cool. German pretenders are now at war with us. Sick. Uh, trade agreement. But they want 500 bucks? How about just a regular trade agreement? 400 bucks? How about just a regular trade agreement? 600 bucks and a non-aggression pact. How about just a non-aggression pact? All right, cool. I guess there's no negotiating with Poland. <laughs> Actually, a 600 bucks and a non-aggression pact would probably be pretty good. If they offer that again, I'll do that. I just wasn't thinking. Battle of Verona, treat gain, fear two. Enemy killed in battle, war declared, unit recruited, rank gained. Okay. Very nice. Um, all right, so there's the French. We're that way. Oh, Munich can get a uh, wheat farm. Why don't we do that? That sounds great. Um, all right, diplomacy. Republic of Venice. Do y'all want to chill? Speech. There we go. You're no longer at war. Excellent. That's very cool. I'm going to head back to Munich. Back to my home. Very good. Okay, these guys still want more. Let's get two more units over there. Okay, these guys are healing a little bit. The French are coming. So we're going to have to deal with that, but it should be okay. Um, let's go into diplomacy and see Poland. Hello, my friend. Would you like a non-aggression pact? Nope. Okay. Would you like a trade agreement? Nope. Okay. How about a... Nah, I can't really afford to do much. Okay, never mind. We're just going to end our turn there. Oh, unassigned skill. Let's go with... Um... The construction cost down. That sounds good. Can we cancel this now and then do it again, but cheaper? Yes, we can. That's baller. Let's freaking go. Now we can afford that uh, Poland. Non-aggression pact. Let's see. What is it? Non-aggression pact. And we will offer a payment of 300 bucks. Okay, what about a non-aggression pact with an offer of payment of four, 400 bucks? No, okay, fine. Then we end turn and stop dealing with them. Oh boy, guys, we got the consumption. That's really obnoxious. I hate getting the consumption. <laughs> um, honestly, I bet we could take these guys in a pitched battle. I feel like we could. They're giving them the advantage, though. That's weird to me. I feel, I feel like we got this. Let's give this a try. Oh, that's why they're giving them the advantage, because they're in a uh, raiding camp. Which, um, yeah, it makes sense they give them the advantage for that, but we're just going to shoot them out with the bows for a really long time um, and then move in. 
I think that's probably going to be the play. We're going to put our cav on the flanks per use. Uh, because that is very nice, very effective. Um, and then we can put a couple of these guys on those flanks. A couple of these guys on those flanks. Doop. And then, um, doop. And then put our general here. Start the battle. We're going to push our archers up to uh, start shelling these guys a little bit. If this doesn't work and we're like feeling not great about this, we can always go ahead and just dip on this battle. It's really not a big deal. Uh, but there we go. I'm going to start the long, arduous process of basically shooting out these guys. They're basically not going to leave because they're going to be scared. Oh, their general is right there. Let's go for their general real quick. Just send some shots into that boy. Might as well. Okay, he's probably going to run away. All right, let me just keep doing this. Yo, we just killed their general. All right, I think we're probably good um, with that. So let's go ahead and start moving in our troops. So we want these guys coming in this way. Please. That'll be beautiful. Uh, and then these guys we need coming in here. These guys coming in this way. Um, this cavalry unit. I'm just gonna full charge the pole arms. I don't even care. I think it'll be fine, honestly. They're probably gonna move too. Because we're going to be charging multiple different areas. So it'll probably work out fine that way anyway. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Leave our archers here. Actually, I might withdraw them and them and them. These guys can stay. Um, just because they're kind of low on health at this point and I don't really want to deal with that yet. So they did move a little bit. They stopped their <laughs> arm, which was weird. I don't know why they did that. Kind of silly, but it is what it is. I'm going to go that way. Okay. Look at that. These guys are already broken. Impressive. Uh, it really do be impressive, don't it? It's pretty good. Um, yeah, wow. They're kind of dog. They're kind of dog water. Alright, yep. Split up our calf. We want to make sure we're like in here fully. Kicking butt, taking names, you know, the whole thing. There we go. Should get our general in here too. I think that would probably help a little bit. Men are broken and running for their lives. What? Oh, shoot. Those guys went down easy. What the heck? Bro. That's weak as hell. Alright, but the rest of them... We are getting them. Pretty decently, I would say. Yeah, it's not going too bad. Get in there and get that off. Okay. Alright. Our forces have found their courage! Our forces have found their courage! Who? These guys? I'm gonna retreat them anyway. And probably those guys too. And yeah, those guys are already retreating. These guys can probably retreat. I just don't want them all having issues. Gotta move these guys all around spread the love spread the units get them all separated out here and stuff and then you know what? our general unit why don't you go after some of their stragglers and stuff because i i really like this um army to be for the most part completely disbanded actually um i don't think that'll happen because already they've had some folks escape pretty easily uh, but at the very least, I'd like to get most of these guys completely dead. I want them deaded. Alright, and we can fast forward here. We will take some more losses due to the towers, which will be annoying, but it is what it is. Alright, there we go. Easy victory. That was a nice little mini siege right there, huh? Alright, I'm going to give chase a little bit. Try and kill some more of these guys. 
I just want these totally annihilated and gone. Okay, cool. There we go. Yeah, they did pretty much get completely annihilated. I got barely anything left. Yeah, that's a good thing. All right, let's go finish them off. We just need them killed. Let's auto resolve. All right. Very nice. That should be the end of them. And perfect unit replenishment. I swear this this unit of what are these? Dismounted Imperial Ritter. They suffer such heavy losses. It's crazy. All right, we do have an upgrade for him. Let's go with this and then tax rate. That's probably the best. Um, okay. I mean, we got we got pretty injured there, but we did reclaim a lot of our chevrons and stuff like that. So it's really not too bad um, what happened, honestly. Actually, pretty cool with it. Um, there are some enemies over here, which is just so annoying. The German pretenders are all the way over here. Very strange. But they're not going to be able to take Brunchwig. And these guys we beat up so much that they're pretty, they're pretty weak. I think we should be okay. That was a good turn. Oh, Savoy wants a peace treaty. I'll take it. The less people we're at war with, the better. I'm very cool with that honestly i just don't want to deal uh especially when we're fighting france if, if we're at war with france it's gonna be annoying um, because they already have another army up here coming at us which is just not good uh yeah it's just not good at all oh we had another development though that's pretty nice um i think maybe it's time we go ahead and get tail mounted rudder um which we don't really have navies, but we need it for the next military advancement. And so we do kind of need it, if you get my drift. Can we build anything? Oh, Braunschweig can build the silver mine. I'll do that. Yeah. That sounds good. And uh, that'll take four turns. But hey, at least we're getting some advancements. Okay. So, peace negotiated. Wheat farms complete. Uh, oh, a miracle. Public order plus two. That's always nice. Rank gained. Sweet. In the Wittenberg. Nice. Um, and those Frenchies did end up dipping on us. Which I'm cool with. I'm going to go to the border here. See where they're at. They ain't here. Okay. Um, I'm honestly thinking about raising a force. This guy's politician. Or unit experience. I'll do unit experience. Um, and then he can chill in Munich for now. But I do want to go ahead and recruit some units for him. Uh... Get some mountain sergeants and then uh, Templars. Yeah, because we're going to need double armies in order to take on France is the main thing. Because um, a single army is not really capable of doing it alone. Um, let's see if we can't take these guys on. Okay, they dipped. Probably because we had our allies here, which is cool. Are these guys still cool with us? Like, they're not, like, pissed, right? <laughs> um, uh, who are they? These guys? Hmm. Why don't we send them a quick... Oh, uh, that's a lot of money. Never mind. No, <laughs> we're not going to send them a quick buck. Um, okay, Kingdom of France is fine. Rejected peace offer. We're only at war with, like, three people. Interesting. Okay, cool. That's actually really nice for us, though, because we were definitely suffering a little bit there. Um, yeah, let's... Oh, assign character skill. Let's do cunning. Oh, we can also give them uh, missile attack rate and armor, sure, and then tax rate. Sounds good. Good! Wittenberg! More taxes. Okay, we have another disease outbreak. Fantastic. Love that. Um, okay, if we move in right now, we are going to suffer... Some more attrition. Um, I might go ahead and just raid our own place here for a second. Let's make a little bit more income. And then we'll go ahead and do... I think some mounted knights. And end our turn there. Uh, we're, we're basically gearing up for a big assault into France. Ooh, the Bohemian pretenders are dead. Peace negotiated. Oh, raiding here. Oh, that's our own rating. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will stop doing that now. 
into no stance, and we're going to enter here. France is going to be somewhere around here. Oh, this is not even French lands. Sorry. Um, yeah, we're going to enter France, but we're not going to attack yet. We're going to wait for these guys to be all set. Um, we've been thinking... Get ourselves a few more bowmen, too. So it'll be two more turns... But at the very least, we're in France here. Um, and maybe they attack us, which I'd be okay with. Because um, we can kind of fend them off with our our big, strong, beautiful army there. Uh, France is a little bit more powerful than most of the other nations that we've come across. So it might be a little trickier, but they're not like crazy powerful. You know, they're not going to curb stomp us or anything like that. Ooh, peace treaty from the German pretenders. And they're going to offer us 1500 bucks. I will take that in a heartbeat because we're not even close to them on the map. <laughs> like, I don't know why we were at war with them in the first place. Um, faction destroyed. Emirate of Granada. War declared between Kingdom of Castile and the Sultanate. Construction completed on the mine. That's good. All right. We might go ahead and siege these guys. Um, and we'll start building um, some stuff stuff for ourselves there that'll be good it looks like they're already dinged up a little bit which is nice um, and then we'll be able to get our second army over pretty soon how long do they have they have five turns until their garrison runs out of food okay copy that let's go ahead and get construction and personal influence for him the king and we'll end our turn oh the kingdom of france has arrived uh with some reinforcements, so we're going to dip out of there. They're not going to chase. It's good to know. All right. Um, so we do know they have another army around there then. Oh, man. Natural causes led to death. Population surplus in Saxony. Um, that means we should probably build the next level pretty soon before they start getting, like, real pissed at us and stuff. Um, but for now, we're okay. Um, so we'll save up for that, I think, actually. Uh, Alright, we want to send these guys down south to group up with these fellas. Might move them, like, up this way, actually. Yeah. And end our turn there. Because uh, we might want to just get those guys replenished real quick since they did lose a little bit due to winter. Oh, they are sending three armies after us. Jesus. Alrighty then. Alright. That's kind of crazy. They have three stacks all right there. Huh, maybe France is a little more powerful than we can actually take on if we want to conquer anything right now. That's crazy. Oh, defamation. Um, we're gonna pay him off because we kinda need more influence at the moment. Alright. Um Let's retreat back up to Munich. March. I think we need to. And then, diplomacy-wise... Maybe well France will give us peace? Scan. No. Okay. I just don't... We're not going to be able to, like... Get any gains from France, which is the problem. Maybe what we should do is go after Milan first. Then attack France. I don't know. I think we should go ahead and end the episode here, though. And figure it out later on. So, that's what we're going to do. Oh, we have undeveloped land here. Let's do the Jewish diaspora. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.